Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecartman12.blogspot.com and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Windows Phone HTC 8X. Now, I'm very, very excited to bring you this actual unboxing because this is my first hands-on experience with a Windows Phone. I've always been looking forward to actually trying out this interface and this is the first time I actually have it in my house to actually try out. I've used a lot of iOS devices and a lot of Android devices and I even have Android as my daily phone and I have a Nexus 7 as my tablet, so I'm really looking forward to trying out a fresh new operating system. Now, I first must give a big thank you to Vodafone.co.uk for sending me this HTC 8X out to review. You can pick this handset up on, on Vodafone.co.uk free on contract for £33 a month. Now, let's take a look at the box. Typical HTC style in this new sort of, uh, so, uh, new sort of packaging they've actually uh, done right here. So, it's got the Windows uh, phone right here, which is the HTC 8X. HTC quite quite quietly brilliant and the same logo over there and over here's got all the specs so let's take a look now you've got a Qualcomm S4 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor the Windows phones are now moving on to dual core as they perform very well just with minimal sort of uh, speeds and performances sim card micro sim card and storage got 16 gigabytes of built-in storage along with one gigabytes of memory 4.3 inch Super LCD 2 display, so I'll be looking forward to actually taking a look at that as the HTC One X who's used a Super LCD display. It's got a 720p, what, 720p HD screen, so yes it's a 1280x720 resolution screen. Beats audio built in, and exclusive built in amplifier. We'll see what that is. 8 megapixel camera, f2.0 aperture lens, autofocus, LED flash, ultra wide angle front camera, 1080p video recording for both cameras. Wow, that's interesting. Normally the rear camera has 1080p recording and the front camera always tends to have 720p recording. Dedicated HTC image chip for both cameras and 3.5mm stereo audio jack and Bluetooth 3.1 and Wi-Fi, etc. Okay, so it comes in this little bit of wrapper right over here, so I'm just going to pull this wrapper off. And here it is. So let's see, how do we remove this? Do you just slide? I remember I opened uh, the HTC One S up in a similar fashion. Let's, oh, let's just see if I can uh, open this up with not much trouble and in a clean sort of way. Okay, so let's take this off. Normally with the uh, HTC One X and One S, you could actually just slide that off, but you can't with this. So a little bit irritating. Okay, so. Let's just take these two little tabs off right here. Okay. This is a fresh unboxing, by the way, so I'm not using any uh, sort of used phone. This is fresh out of the box, so this is how it'll be presented to you when you purchase straight from Vodafone. And if you get this phone from anywhere else as well, I presume. Okay. That, oh, that's not very pretty. Okay, let's take the top hatch off. And there is the HTC 8X. Wow, that looks very, very nice. That's okay. Yes, not taking it out in the best sort of fashion, but normally I have this little tab that you just pull out. Okay, let's just take it out of that. And this is in the black color. It also comes in a nice blue color. Wow, that is a very, very thin mobile phone. Very thin. It feels very light. Wow, one of HTC's lightest mobile phones. Let's put that to the side. Let's see what else we get in the box. Okay, and I've just got some a little information here. Okay, so this is uh, the paperclip type implement to take out the micro SIM card. And here we get the regular documents that we tend to get with HTC phones. Uh, quick start guide for HTC ATX. And do not remove this, do not throw this card away. I don't know, it must be important information. Contact us, safety and regulatory guide. Windows 8, Windows Phone 8 software license terms, warranty statement, and in here we should get the accessories. I wonder if we get Beats audio headphones, but I somewhat doubt it as this does not look like Beats headphones. HTC normally used to provide those. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you've got the earphones, um, standard earphones, the tangle free cable, but I remember I told you guys that I did not like the sound quality that much of these earphones, they, and they did not fit very comfortably in the ear either. Okay, so let's just put that to the side. Let's see what else we get in this one pack right here. And uh, 
as expected pretty much. Uh, full size USB to micro USB. You could be using this to charge and synchronize the device. And in here we get the three pin plug. Really do like the way HTC actually present their accessories and the mobile phone as well. Okay, three pin UK plug. Seems a bit bigger than I actually remember. Yeah, it's no big deal. You could use this to charge the device. Okay, so let's put all that back into the box. Let's just quickly put it all back in. And let's take a look at the HTC 8X itself. Now, I'm going to just peel this front cover off. And that looks absolutely special. That looks really nice and good quality. A bit dusty in the back, surprisingly. Despite this being a very new phone, let's see, I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, you could just about see that on camera. It's quite a bit dusty, so this does look like it can attract dust very easily. Not so much fingerprints. It looks like you can't really attract fingerprints on this, but dust looks like something you can actually attract on this. Now, let me just change my white balance here, so you can probably get a better look. There you go, that should just look better. So, and that looks very, very thin. Okay, so you've got capacity buttons here, a uh, Windows button right over there, back button and a search button, earpiece on top there, front facing camera, which I don't know how much megapixels it is, but I'm just going to say it's capable of capturing 1080p video, so I'm presumably it's a 2 megapixel camera on the front. Power on off button over there, which seems quite flush to the phone. Very flush, you can barely even notice that. Okay, so it's got another mic a microphone top there, 3.5mm headphone jack. On the bottom you've got the micro USB connector you're going to be using to charge and synchronize the device. Microphone pinhole at the bottom, and on the back here you've got a speaker, which HTC very nicely create these really really nice speakers now. Beats logo over there, as this does support Beats. HTC logo over there, and the 8 megapixel camera and LED flash. And this 8 megapixel camera, as stated earlier, is capable of capturing 1080p video. Now the button on the side, this is first obviously going to be used for your micro SIM card, and that little hole over there is that sort of paper clip I showed you earlier, you just insert into there, then this latch will come off and then you insert the, the SIM card in there. Volume rockers, and what I presume is a dedicated camera button right over here. I don't know what else it could be used for. Okay, so let's just power the phone on. This feels like a very nice mobile phone. The feel of it is very nice, despite it being sort of like uh, attractive, to, tr attractive to a lot of dust, it does feel very, very nice. And it looks very, very premium, especially the gloss on the front. And I'm really excited because, as I said, this is the very first Windows phone I'm going to be using. So let's see how long it takes to boot up for the first time. Okay, that actually took a bit more time than expected. SIM error, the SIM card is missing or invalid. Uh, okay, same, got no SIM card. Well, I'll just close that for now and we'll take another look at that later. Welcome to your Windows phone, let's get started. Okay, let's get started right there. Obviously English. Uh, enough about the SIM card. Terms of use. How would you like your Windows phone configured? What's recommended? Enable mobile data automatically download this. Yeah, let's just do recommended right there. And this, I'm going to have to probably change this. Uh, I'll just change the time to uh, later right now. Let's just go next. Let's sign in. Okay, so that was quite a lengthy process. I, I did just cut away, cut away to put my password in my Hotmail. I also inserted the SIM card as it didn't go through that through the whole thing without the SIM card. And I was just picking up some text messages, and let's give a flick through this, and that is very responsive. This is my first sort of hands-on with Windows Phone, uh, with me properly using it as my own mobile phone, and. That seems quite nice. I always thought that this would be go stale. You know, Android and iOS, you can swipe between the screens and they don't really go stale. Uh, they sort of still feel quite satisfying to do so. The novelty wears off, but they still feel satisfying. Uh, I thought with Windows, when it always goes, it'll go stale, but it's not too bad. Now, let me just give you, like I said, a f quick first look. And what I'd first like to do is go into the settings, as the brightness on the screen doesn't look like it's at its, you know, full brightness. So let's go to settings. Uh, brightness is on automatic, let's turn that off and let's go to high and that looks much nicer. Let's go back to the home screen. That feels all very nice and responsive and it's very fluid. Um, let's, as I said this is the first look, let's go into the browser 
and see what we could do with the uh, let's just take a look at how the internet browsing is uh, recommended and it's just using the Vodafone 3G network right now let me just go onto my website and as many people say the Windows Phone keyboard is very nice indeed dot com okay let's take a look at the web browsing experience uh, it's loading up quite a pretty good pace at the Vodafone 3G network okay so here's the web browsing wow that is very fluid I, wow I don't remember the last time I actually had web browsing this fluid before let's go to landscape it's the smoothest sort of rotating animation I've ever seen on Windows Phone as you can see on the camera right there this is smoother than what you get on Android and iOS that is very very good so yep yeah, web browsing very very smooth I'll be testing web browsing further and more heavy intensive websites but anyway guys that was just a quick first look I've shown you a quick look at the keyboard quick look at the web browsing I'm gonna go play with this phone and see uh, what Windows phone is like I've got a Windows computer and laptop and I'll actually have a look to see how the synchronizers and works across those platforms where I'm actually using those so thank you guys very much for watching this has been Eric from eclopman12.blogspot.com please thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and I'll see all of you in the next one